Previously, we already knew the difference between heliocentric and geocentric model of our solar system. Also, we already knew that the ancient astronomers especially Anaximander, Plato, and Aristotle, also Eudoxus, and Ptolemy, believes that our world Earth is the center of the universe until they created their own geocentric model. Their model became more popular to the ancient people or astronomers especially during Greek, Hellenistic, Roman, Medieval, and Renaissance period. Now, in the second part of our topic, the questions will be answered on why the people believes about the Earth as the center of our solar system, or even universe. That will be the discussion to the second part of this topic about the different theories of heliocentric and geocentric and their history. Ptolemy finalizes geocentrism during 2nd century AD, and according to him, he didn't invent his work as aligned to the ancient Seven Heavens religious cosmology, instead, it was invented according to the decreasing orbital periods of those celestial bodies especially the moon, sun, planets, and stars. Seven Heavens refers to the seven divisions of the heaven, which is moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, where it came from the religion of Mesopotamia where it can be found in Islam and Judaism. This concept is also similar to Hinduism and also in Jainism, where the concept of the seven underworlds and seven Earths are both in the realms of deities as the celestial bodies such as the planets and the fixed stars. Additional explanation about Ptolemy's model, where his model applies equant. Equant, is where the Earth is not literally in the center of the solar system, where the middle, X, is the center of the system and the Earth is only in the side of X and the celestial bodies surrounds Earth where they apply depth cycles where it was discussed in the first part of this topic. Back again to the ancient astronomers, many of them believed and accepted the Ptolemaic system, especially the Muslim astronomers. Astronomy of Muslims or commonly known as Islamic astronomy, is all about the developments on Islamic world about astronomy especially during Islamic Golden Age, during 9th to 13th century and where it occurs in the areas of Middle East, Central Asia, North Africa, Far East, in Al-Andalus, and in India which it was mostly written in Arabic language. But how does the Islamic astronomy started? It was started in pre-Islamic Arabs. Pre-Islamic Arabs relied on empirical observations entirely. They observed based on rising and setting of the particular stars which can be compared to the sunrise and sunset of our sun. From their empirical observations, mathematical methods was added during the continuation of Anwa that has been developed after Islamification by the Arabs, where Anwa is the area of their astronomical study. During the early Islams, early caliphates occurs, and the knowledge of Hellenistic and Indian astronomy has been started to absorb by the Arabs, and translated to their language. Zij al Hind and Zij al Shah is one of the works related to astronomy, where Zij al Hind came from India while Zij al Shah is an astronomical table came from Persia, which those are translated to their language. During this period, Arabs adopted the sign function, where it came from India, replacement of the Greek trigonometry where they used the cords of the arm. During the golden age of Islamic astronomy, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, worked on the first major Muslim work Zij al Hind, in the year 830 AD. This contains a table about the movements of the sun, the moon, and the five common planets we know on this time such as, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, where this work introduced the concepts of Ptolemy, through their Islamic sciences which is very significant. If you will ask, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi is the father of the algebra. Algebra is came from an Arabic word, al means restoring broken parts. He is also a Persian polymath, who produced works in mathematics, geography, and astronomy. Back again to Islamic Golden Age, in the year 850, Al-Fargani wrote a book that basically talks about summary of the Ptolemaic system and cosmography. He made this book due to his doubts on the concepts of Ptolemy, especially in the work, 
Almagest, where this work of Ptolemy is a compilation found from the early astronomers, if you could remember the part one. After that, many texts appeared during 10th century at, where the doubts of the concepts of Ptolemy, is now starting to show in this period. Many of the Muslim scholars questioned about being stationary of the earth, and being located in the center of the universe. That was the reason why the possibility of independent investigations come possible, concerning about the Ptolemaic system. Ibn al-Haytham or commonly known in Latinized name al hizm between the years 1025 to 1028, he wrote a book that criticizes the elements and model of geocentrism of Ptolemy, which this book named Doubts on Ptolemy, originally named al shukil Kalar Bad Lamius. Some of the Muslim astronomers believe that the Earth rotates around its axis, which is not the concept of Ptolemy especially, al sigzi al sigzi invented astrolabe, called al-Zarati, according to al-Biruni. Al-Biruni is an Iranian polymath and scholar who has believed that that the motion we see is due to the Earth's movement and not to that of the sky. There were many astronomers who studied about the Ptolemy's model but some, it seems there's something wrong with his model, that causes Merga revolution. Merga revolution, is about a revolution of Merghez school which they against in Ptolemy's cosmology. Merghez school, is all about the traditional beginning of Merghez observatory and their astronomy that has been continued by astronomers which came from Sam Arkan observatory, and Damascus mosque. Merghez observatory was located in East Azerbaijan, province of Iran and it was established in 1259. During this revolution, astronomers were attempted to solve the equant problem, where that equant, was said before, and produce alternative configurations to the model of Ptolemy without abandoning the geocentrism. Their attempt became successful in producing non-Ptolemaic configurations without using equant. They didn't abandon the geocentrism, and did not make a paradigm shift to heliocentrism. There are many things happened after this on Islamic astronomy. Another one that believes about geocentrism on this period especially medieval, and renaissance, which is the Roman Catholic Church. Roman Catholic Church form when the Roman Empire falls during 476 AD, and it becomes more powerful institution where their influences spread around Europe during medieval period. On that time, Roman Catholic Church believes on geocentrism especially the most of the popes. But how the Roman Catholic Church believes about geocentrism? Geocentrism is a belief about the Earth, is the center of the universe and also tells the Earth is the center of the solar system and, geostaticism is being stationary of Earth which is similar to the concepts of geocentric model. It was supported on the Bible verses that tells our world must not be moved. Example of the Bible verse that tells about on geocentrism and geostaticism. Psalm, chapter 104, verse 5. He set the earth on its foundations, so that it should never be moved. 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 30. Tremble before him, all the earth, yes, the world is established, it shall be never moved. Due to those holy scriptures, there are popes that declares about science cannot be contradicted the faith especially Pope Leo XIII, and Pope Alexander VII. Encyclical of Pope Leo XIII is Providentissimus Deus, that science can't contradict the faith of the people as it said a while ago. Pope Alexander VII republished the lists of books that should be prohibited, and that list was known as Index Librorum Prohibitorum, where all about heliocentrism is also one of the prohibited. That was the belief of Roman Catholic Church, that they support about where the Earth is the center of the universe and stationary because of some Bible verses support on it. When heliocentric astronomers comes during Renaissance period, they did not accept the heliocentrism due to their heresy. But some part in the Roman Catholic Church, supports about heliocentrism, they are the Jesuits. Jesuits or known as Society of Jesus which they are religious order of Catholic Church which they spread the teachings of Jesus Christ, 
also, in other sides, some of them are scientists, astronomers, teachers, or more. They helped and support the boat Galileo Galilei's findings that supports heliocentrism. In summary, many people and astronomers believe about geocentrism especially Muslim astronomers, and the Roman Catholic Church, during medieval period and Renaissance. Islamic astronomy did not abandon the geocentrism even they did not already accept it but Ptolemy's model at last. And Roman Catholic Church believes on geocentrism, due to the scriptures support about it, aside Jesuits. Jesuits tried supported the findings of Galileo about heliocentrism. But, who are the heliocentric astronomers that produce their works about heliocentrism? Did it become hard to them to produce it? How does the geocentrism did not already the correct model, instead, the heliocentric model? Did the words heliocentric and geocentric exist during the inventions of the different heliocentric and geocentric model? It will be discussed in the third part of this topic, so stay tuned. Did you?